Daryl! There he is. <laughs> now we're talking. Wow. Hey, guys. How are y'all? Doing good, man. How you been? Richard. My name is Daryl Pell. I'm from Temple, Texas. Holy cow, dude. Wow. Daryl opened up the garage, and man, they're pretty, pretty uh, impressive to see it. It's just stuffed full of Corvettes. It's kind of hard to take it all in. It is, man. One owner 63 there in the corner. We've got a big block 427 66 here. This 63's got a fuel injected motor. We've got another 427 numbers matching car. When was the last time you saw a one owner 63 split window R? <laughs> Never. This Impala's pretty nice, too. The white 63 Super Sport. Golly, that thing's clean. The gentleman I bought this house from was president of the Corvette, local Corvette club for over 40 years. And unfortunately, he's at an age where he needed to uh, move the cars on. He's just not able to take care of them anymore. What is this? Pace car, 300 original miles on it. 300 miles? 300 miles. Richard, you got to see this. It's got the jacket in it that you got when you ordered these. It looks like Oh, super rad. Original tires been on the jack stands. Freaking perfect. Really preserved the Literally car. Literally looks like it's been restored. This is unbelievable. Yeah, it looks brand new. That is a Holy Grail pace car. Holy Grail. Some incredible parts. Valves, intakes, heads. There's a whole rack of freaking steering wheels over there. Golly. I'm not a big parts guy, but I know that there's some serious money in here with parts. Now, am I wasting your time on this, Big Chris? Uh, you're not wasting it. I just really wasn't expecting this much. You know, the thing about it is we're just getting started. We still got a house full of parts. More stuff in the house? Yep. Let's see what's in the house. Woo! It's like they just up and left. And inside the house, the guy had squirreled away even more Corvette parts. The kind of parts you can't find anywhere. Holy cow. It's like a museum. Where in the world would you find one of these? I feel like Huggy Bear. And somewhere there might be something else of value. <laughs> when I understand, he rat-holed uh, coins and didn't want anybody to know about it. So somewhere in this house, there's supposed to be some gold coins. What else is there to look at? Woo! Dennis and I are going 50-50 on this deal. Basically, we could buy all the cars and parts and pack it all up and take it back to Dallas, or we could just buy it all. Buy the house, buy the cars, buy the parts, buy everything. Would you, would you sell it all? Yeah, I'd definitely consider an offer on the house.